steady. Outside squeeze slow. If you think you're going slow enough, slow it down even more. Okay. That's it. A little squeeze down the outside ridge. Now, in your upper body, I want you to really think about lifting up through your belly button. So try not to push your belly button towards her neck. Try and push it up towards the sky. That's better. You're not tipping forward. Right, let's do a circle in the middle. And the outside rain. So before you change direction, do a different shape. Do a transition upwards or downwards. You need to balance and prepare her. So that's a little half hold. So close the fingers and the outside rain. Yeah. So would you say the top top quicker again? Yeah. 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 So slow rising. That's it. Now just let's just keep her on a 20 meter circle somewhere. Now steady, slower. And the other aid you've got, which is a brilliant aid, is your voice. Yeah. Yeah? So if she's not quite listening to your feet and she's still running, just go, whoa, steady. It's like lunging. When I lunge, I use my tone in my voice. So if I want them to slow down, I go slower in my tone and go like a man and go deeper. If I want them to go more forward, I raise the pitch in my voice. Yeah. Your hands should be level at all times. If they're not, then do something about it. The only exception is if you're doing a softening aid. But it shouldn't be pulling back to the third. Outside squeeze again, outside leg. That's it. But you need to still look where you're going. So even though you're bent, very good. Slow your rising a little bit. You might find as well, Liv, when she does soften, Outside leg, that's it. Don't keep shortening that left frame. Keep le uh, right bend, right. So bend the right elbow a little bit more. That's all she's got. That's it. Good. Don't pull on the left. Just keep consistent on the left. Left frame. That's it. Good. Now she's straighter. And that stride certainly got longer there. Good yeah. Okay, she's not perfectly round, but you've actually. in the trot was established enough. The trot wasn't the rhythm we just had, it was a little bit backward thinking in terms of not being in front of the leg. 
So don't get confused with what I'm saying there. We want her in front of the leg, pushing from behind, but not running, okay? So now she looks like she's almost trotting up and down on the spot, not taking you in a forward thinking step without running. So close a bit more leg, but don't let your rising get quicker. So your rising's dictating how far she goes, but your leg's saying, yeah, stretch them out a bit more and keep in trot. Let's pop her back on a circle in the middle. leg every three strides whoa wait keep her turning that's it i can tell when you're asking her to stay straight uh, with the outside edge because she suddenly rounds through her neck and starts lifting through her shoulder walk, like that so whoa again relax that inside hand a little bit outside squeeze outside leg lower then do outside ray outside leg give her a pat with your inside hand Just to slow your rising down. 